Hi well, guys, I've got the setup adjusted so that I can show a particular effect. Take this off. As you can see, there, the input's very minimal 12.6 volts, turn on 100 milliamps. The voltage in blue and the current and the voltage drop across the point one ohm resistor in yellow. Got a phase there now about 20 9 30 degrees. And so what I'll do first is just uh, connect the power for this DC motor. Get it to stay in there one handed. Yeah. Yeah, that's this DC motor here. I had to take off the, uh, the belt, the front of the belt. Got the motor up by hand anyway. Pretty good the messy bench. Um, what I'll show first is that as I load. As I load, you can see the input's gone up there a little bit already. And the phase has changed a little bit as well as the waveforms are a little bit distorted. It's the waveforms from the low voltage output tank. And you can see when I apply a load to the motor, but Stopping the shaft with my fingers, the input goes up. The input increases. As I do that, the LED turns it brighter. The interesting thing is, you can hear me stop the motor with my hand. As I stop the motor dead in its tracks, the phase goes to almost 90 degrees. Well, at the same time, the power goes up to maximum. That's the uh, that's the tuning for the maximum torque of the motor. Quite a bit of talk like that. You can see when the motor is loaded, it really pulls the current. The actual current in the tank makes that make sense of coil go. Current in the output tank increases when I short the motor, which decreases. And now I'm disconnecting the motor. Very easy. So the stage probes are placed. 